welcome to episode th two of Sequin Girly Creates. Welcome back if you found me and are on the third one. Fantastic, thank you for staying with me. Welcome to what hopefully is lots of new people joining and finding me. Today is going to just be sort of an update in the sort of Friday so's manner of things I've bought, plans I've got, things I've made and hopefully you've seen already that I've done a make nine video which is my plans and obviously my welcome video for number one. Today will just be a sort of a mixture of things and coming really soon will be a make nine update because I'm sort of backtracking to keep up on my make nine because I did start my plans in January lovely to see you I hope you're all having a good week and whether you sew or don't sew it's lovely to have you here let's start with what I'm wearing so I have a thrifted necklace on which I found in one of my local charity shops love it it's made of wood and it's just a sort of more greeny color thrifted top which I found in a charity shop in my next door over town couldn't resist the slightly different take on the animal print and it's got that nice sort of like cuff thing here and then the skirt for those of you who've watched along here it is one of my make nine plans and if you watch soon when I release my make nine update you can see more about that I won't post a full picture here if you do follow me on Instagram or would like to follow me on Instagram I'm sequin girly on there as well you would be able to see pictures because I post sort of live as soon as I can't resist sharing what I've done so they kind of go up super quick and then the videos follow along when I've got time but that was one of my make nine plants I've gone full animal today so animal print brows and then the 1970s safari whipsnade fabric print design for my pencil skirt let's start with a little bit of shopping so I want to say Hey So Sister, but can't be 100% on that. There's the three, the Stitch and Ink, Hey So Sister, Sophie Sanderson and Fabric Godmother, the three, the four that I follow, oh, and of course Rainbow Fabrics on Instagram. And I, I blur them up because if there's a remnant on, I whip on there as quickly as I can to get any remnants. So this was a, we've got some remnants, we've got some seconds. So if you're not quick, you do miss out. And I'd seen lots of people who have the So Hey Jane box that they'd got this gorgeous mustard ponty fabric. I did think about buying metres of it and I think it was Becky Lane on Etsy. She had it and she got it in the white and the sage as well. But I kept talking myself out of it. But then, of course... There was a remnant and it was a remnant that had a seconds bit but to be honest i didn't need it worry about it so i got a little piece of this i got about 0 0.8 meters there's very little stretch that way and there's more this way but it doesn't have that great return it does sort of go white and then get a little bit loose so it's not something where you want it to be regularly stretching it's got white on the back it is super like sort of snuggly like for loungewear and things so i haven't got a huge amount but and there is, you can just about see it there. There's like a black mark on it. But for wearing at home, for like a little vest top for a bed or just chilling out in the garden or whatever, it's going to be fine. So I've got that. And I also got this piece, which again is about half a metre. I'll bring it up close so you can see the pattern. It is like a very tiny animal print compared to the big of the other one. And this has nice stretch that way, but not that way. So just that way. Um, I was thinking pencil skirt, but not 100%. But I've not got a huge amount, so it would have to be that length from the pencil skirt. It is like a dark minty... It's more like a dark sage green, but that's um, the other thing I got from them. And then... I had a bit of a situation with one of my mate nines and was a bit short on fabric. So I searched the internet and actually found a local shop that's on my way home from work that I could take a little diversion to. 
and they have an online ordering as well and then you can pick up at the shop they have two they have like a warehouse and then a shop so I went to pick something up and you know what it's like you go in oh my goodness they had it's called Lady So and So and I'll link it below and their shop had so much in this tiny little pack space and also the lady there told me if you see something online and you'd like them to bring it to the shop so you can look at it they can because as someone I used to work with say I need to feel it so they will do that for you so I ended up getting this lovely purple because I'm always buying pattern and again it's got that nice give that way but not that way so it's not a jersey I think it's called like a sateen isn't it where it's cotton with a bit of give so these are great for like pencil skirts structured dresses so they're not as thin and drapey I love purple it's my favorite color so I picked that up trying to balance out the amount of print I have with just a bit of something else as well so I got this um, because I think it look at look, look at the way it goes with that but also the way it goes with mustard look at that the two together and with lots of other things as well so that was my little shopping there and then things are oh hang on now I know this is definitely from Fabric Godmother this was another one in remnant or sales and it's another one that's like much thicker and it's got give in that direction look at that like imagine that as a structured dress like a pencil dress so I've got that so let's have a look at plans now I talked in my make nine about worrying about ruining good fabrics <laughs> I'm sure lots of people feel like I do about that I have taken a vow this year to really make toils with fabric I don't love so much or with duvets and things I buy from charity shop so that I'm not worrying about this and also really refine it to work for me before I get to the good fabric so I have made my toil of my Friday Pattern Company patina blouse and here it is this is out of some Ikea fabric I've had for a really long time and I did the facing and everything in the collar which has made it really stiff this is the blouse so I'll just get it all in the right way for you I haven't finished it off to the full extent because I'm using this as a test one I did the slightly higher I did even put buttons on there I did the slightly higher neckline not the really low one and I'm glad I did because on me the really low one would have been obscene even this one is a little bit touch and go so here it is I did take the time to practice button doing buttons and I put button holes on and had a practice I did the full depth of the collar and I did short sleeve shit sleeves um, and you've got the lovely yoke at the back as well and I did the yoke out of the same fabric on this but it actually used a different fabric for the collar and for the inside like the um, this inside placket bit I'm really happy with how it turned out because I now feel I've got the hang of it there's like oh there's a pin there that's a bit scary um, it does make me feel that there's because you do gathering across here it is a little bit billowy at the back so I've got to think about that I did put the interfacing in the collar and it has made the collar quite stiff which if you want a structured collar is good but some of the fabrics I'm thinking about using I'm not sure I would need it so if you if you've seen my make now video I was talking about using these two fabrics together to make a patina blouse so one fabric for the collar and one fabric for the body well these are like these are quilting cotton so they're quite stiff anyway and I know the Friday Pattern Company show it with like a nice sort of silk and chemise those sorts of things well they would need interfacing particularly to cope with the button holding I don't think quilting cotton is going to need it so I'm actually going to leave the interfacing out now that I've done my toil big tick for myself there when I make this version I'm not going to put interfacing in I'm thinking about the contrast of the yoke though in the same as the the collar so having a big think about how I work that through 
and about how I use the buttons as well. But I'm really happy with how my toy all turned out. And I'm now starting work. My next plan is to start work on one of my Make 9, which is to use those two fabrics. So there's that. Then my other plans for this week are to use the lilac jersey fabric, which is one of my Make 9s that my mum gave me that she didn't use and to use the tilly and the buttons and let's find it something poking out there that could be it <laughs> a little bit of jersey fabric poking out of there isn't the right one let me find the right one for you so i get the correct name so yes it is the freya uh, sweater and doing it like a little roll neck so i'll just show you for those i know lots of people are familiar with this but if you're not it's the freya sweater so it looks like this and I really like that sort of, it's not a full roll neck, but like a mock turtleneck type one. And it's got a bit of shape down the side and you've got the full sleeve there. So that's what I'm going to make out of the lilac um, jersey. I think I might have that here. Yeah, so this is the lilac jersey that I'm going to make it from. So that's on my plans for this week as well. You may have seen in my Make 9 video, I talked about the Joni dress. You do have all the patterns in the back of this book. I'm a tracer. I know not everyone's a tracer, but I'm a tracer, particularly at the moment while I'm working out what size is for me. It is the Joni dress. Um, I think I'll do another video about it another time. I talked about my mixed feelings about it. So my plans for this week, as I say, is I've got Freya from here, starting on the patina blouse, the real one now I've made the toil and oh a little extra shopping thing as i've mentioned in my last video and a bit in this one i'm a huge fan of thrifting charity shops second hand so i do buy new fabric but i do where possible try to buy second hand fabric too it's not as easy it's a bit more hit and miss um i would love it if eventually i could get fully to that but i'm not there yet but I found this the other day in one of my local charity shops. I think I got it in the Shaw Trust and it's actually a tablecloth but it's a lovely and it's been washed a lot of times bit of sort of cotton and I was thinking there's quite a bit actually could make it along with another fabric but it would just make like a nice summery top just one of those simple ones with a simple short sleeve been lovely and cool because of the fabric and also, whilst I do like it, let's bring it up close so you can really see it. Not so upset if it goes wrong. Tablecloths, you've got to watch out when you buy them in case there are stains. Many stains will come out. This one was pretty blemish free, I have to say. I think I did find one on it. But it's fine to cut round it. Oh, yes, there it is. So there's just like a slight darkening of yellow in one area. I don't know if you can see that. It's not hugely noticeable it might be more noticeable on the other side of it luckily it's almost like the yellow that's there but just pattern placing and I should be able to miss that but I did see I think it's Selena sews her Instagram account I'll put it below she only uses secondhand fabric and tablecloths and tea towels that she finds and she sells beautiful and amazing clothes and she sometimes embroiders over stains, dyes, that sort of thing. So there are options around that as well. But always have a look if it's a tablecloth because it might have lived a life of many delicious meals. So that's that. So those are my plans this week. So a bit of a short video this week, but just nice to catch you up on where I'm at and my plans for what I'm going to do next. Please watch out soon because I will post a Make 9 update on where I've got to because we're just over a quarter of the way through the year, um, probably more like a third of the year now, um, and how I'm doing. So I'd like to think I'm a third of the way through my Make 9 at least. And uh, love it if you could subscribe, love it if you leave comments below. And as I've already mentioned, I am on Instagram if you want to get more sort of still images of the things I make and my thrifted outfits because over time there's lots of those to share. But thank you for coming with my sewing journey. Have a good week.